This lesson is going to talk about the angles of a, po of a polygon, speci specifically the sum of the measures of the angles. Therefore, the first thing that we're going to look at is the interior angle sum theorem that we looked at in the computer lab. And what this theorem tells us is if we take all the angles in the polygon, add them together, it's going to equal a number. Well, instead of actually having to add them all up, we can just use this little formula here where we take n being the number of sides that the polygon has, subtract 2 from it, and then take the quantity of that and multiply it by 180. Now remember, think back to the computer lab, that n minus 2 part, that represented the number of triangles that we created in, a, in the polygon, while each triangle, when we look at the three angles in the triangle, add them up, it's 180. So if we take 180 times the number of triangles, we're going to get the sum of the measures of the interior angles of our triangle. Simple little formula right there. Now, the other one we're going to look at would be the sum of the exterior angles. And that's where the exterior angle sum theorem comes from. This one is a nice one. There's not really anything to do other than to remember that I don't care what kind of polygon you have. If you take all the exterior angles of the polygon and add them together, it's always going to equal 360 degrees. It doesn't matter if it's a triangle or if it's a 75 gon. Add those exterior angles together, and it's always going to equal 360 degrees. And that's going to conclude the lesson portion of angles of a polygon.